It's not as critical to know what your exit option is right at the beginning of your program or even partway through your program. What is important is to begin categorizing your projects according to the ISTE standards that they fulfill. If you are keeping track of your projects according to those standards and you know how it all fits together, then you can use the product of each of your classes in a portfolio if you choose that as your exit option or going forward and you choose a different option you're at least going to be able to say what you've accomplished in an organized fashion. So I do encourage you to make sure that you're capturing that as you're producing those different elements. So when you're organizing all your artifacts uh, for your portfolio, you'll realize as you're doing that first or second assignment in CSE 604 that you should have organized long ago. Uh, and that is a mistake that I made. And I thought I wasn't making that mistake. I had my uh, coursework and all of my artifacts that I made in courses organized in my Google Drive based on the terms that I took the class. Because it ends up, I worked on different computers at different points. I had different things saved in different locations, and the careful planning I thought I did, I didn't do. What I am glad that I did was start to categorize my projects right away into the different ISTE standards. So it's important to look at what ISTE standards are being covered in each of the courses and then use that as a springboard to cataloging your information. Whether you're choosing a portfolio or whether you're choosing the professional project, knowing how it all fits together is going to be very helpful for you going forward. My portfolio is already something that's really exciting because I've been able to use it as a networking and resume tool for a job that I'm applying for. I didn't even have anything in place when I applied for this job and I said, what can I do to showcase that I'm different than all the other applicants? I immediately was able to draw on the resources that I have available to me in the portfolio class and build a website and make sure that my artifacts are there. I'm able to showcase things that I've built during my time at Western Oregon and my future employers are able to see what I can do even in a short amount of time. So it's extremely practical and much more than just a um, project assignment, but it's something that then I can use as a networking tool with other colleagues. I can use it to build a professional reputation online. I think the best part of the Infotech program was something I wasn't expecting. Um, it is a fantastic family, whether I am interacting with students during the summer uh, in a face-to-face -face class or I'm online. I've developed friendships with people in my courses. The faculty have been phenomenal. Mary brings brownies to every single one of our portfolio presentations and they are delicious. They are so good. Um, and I can't think of many programs where the, the coordinator brings brownies to celebrate her students' successes or where they're willing to accommodate and support us as much as this faculty in this program uh, is, are. Cut. We'll see what happens with that one. That is word. Are. Is it is or is it are?